I've made the cutest little space for myself. <sighs> Listen to that. Y'all wanna know why Tito's is the number one um, alcohol sales in Virginia? Because they are a, I mean, it's vodka, but they are a marketing company. You thinking you just about to get a drink. They're, look at all the people they're marketing to. Austin, Texas, USA. Texans. Then it says around this little thing, a vodka for dog people. Then it says gluten free. Is vodka good for you? No. But they tapping into the gluten-free folks. Then, America's original craft vodka. People love America. It's just all marketing. You think your business, oh, I sell candle. No, baby, you're a marketing company. Just find out to whom and to how and to what. Y'all be blessed. I gotta tell y'all a secret. Everybody is in an uproar that um, slavery isn't being talked about in schools. You know, they're taking it out of the education. A lot of black people are in an uproar. And I, for one, am glad. Because I remember very vividly whenever slavery came up in my school, which was a very mixed school, it gave the white boys an opportunity to discuss how they owned us. And as the confident black woman that I am, it was hard not to cave their teeth in. And I'll never forget, um, my history teacher made us debate whether slavery was a good thing or not. And I had to debate and then this kid, Benjamin, debated because he genuinely felt like slavery wasn't that bad because we had somewhere to live and someone fed us and like took care of us like puppies. And he was just so rude about it. I wonder what kind of crystal meth he takes now. Is there only one brand? It's July 21st and August 1st. I'm going to take y'all on a journey from August 1st of 23 to August 1st of 24. So one year, I'm going to take y'all on an entire journey to rebuild my life. Um, for the people that know me, I was a restaurant owner for the past five years. We had a fire. I'll get more into details about that. I decided not to reopen and... I just want to take y'all on the journey. Like so many people in this entrepreneurial space only show you the end result. And a lot of their end results be lying and full of business credit debt and all this kind of shit. I'm going to show y'all how to really get it and that anything is possible and how hard it really is. But as entrepreneurs, we live in this state of beautiful delusion because every day, no matter how bad things are going, we wake up like today might be the day and that might go on for 10 years. So let's ride. I'm so happy today. It's Tuesday and guess what I'm doing today? I get to take my mama to the doctor. Before the restaurant, I used to take my mama to all of her doctor's appointments because you know, it's tough raising your parents. You gotta make sure what the doctor's saying and what they are telling you is the same thing, you know? Because I need her to live to at least 107, you know, because I just can't function. <sighs> I woke up this morning and I was like, thank you, Jesus. I have not been able to take her to the doctor in five years. And that's important to me. Family is important to me. Well, my mama is not like all family. <laughs> but my mama, my mama is my foundation. Sometimes in business, we think we building something when we just done built ourselves a damn job. Never again. So I'm about to get dressed and take my mama to the doctor. Y'all have a good day. Oof. So yesterday, the holiday's over. 
and I'm like doing my budgeting stuff. I'm like, okay, I gotta get groceries, I gotta get gas, I gotta pay these bills, you know, in my full <sighs> mode, right? So I go in the gas station, get my gas for the week, and tell the man, you know, how much I need. He said, oh, you're, the gas pump you're parked at is out. I said, okay, well, you want me to push back? Um, is that one working? He's like, yeah. And I said, okay. Um, you know, just like that. And he puts the gas amount in. I asked for like um, $75 or something. And he says, you good. He said, you're the first person that ain't cussed me out because of that. And my friend... Lene, we went to lunch Monday, I think it was. I can't remember, a couple days ago. And me and my other unemployed friend, <laughs> my business, um, I decided to close it. She decided to quit her job. And we're just living life, you know? And my friend Lene, who's a type A, like crazy planner, all this work, she is stressed out with both of us. And it's and but she's at the lunch though. And she like, you bitch is really at lunch. And like ordering, like I had mussels, like I started with mussels, then we did like this seafood nacho, then we did, then I asked the waiter to make me some uh, watermelon juice, basil, lemon, and um, lemonade, and uh, tequila. She's like, and y'all drinking, and I'll, and so, and I'm like, well, what are you worried about? Like, I know my God provides, you know? And even then, like when the bill came, she was like, both of my friends unemployed, I'm gonna pay it look at God, look at God, like, what am I stressed out for, God is good, you know, I ain't worrying about nothing, and then today, I've been battling with the company, let me rewind, so I call my boyfriend crying, he not really my boyfriend, like, he's really my husband, but we haven't had the conversation yet, but y'all just stay focused, okay? I call my boyfriend crying. Well, he texts me. It's like, "Are you doing?" And I'm like, "I'm very frustrated, and I want I'm I'm crying, but I know it's childish. Like, I don't want to tell you." So he immediately calls. He's like, "What's wrong, baby?" And I'm like, <gasps> "My pool still isn't clear, and it's about to be Fourth of July, and the pool man keeps saying it's gonna be clear, and he's not cleaning it right." And then I was um. I was um, fixing the boxes and one of the box fell and the paper's on the floor and I'm just like, then I have the laundry. I forgot to put the laundry out for the laundry day and uh, I'm going crazy. So he's like, okay, baby, listen to me cry for like a few minutes. Then he's like, okay, you're an entrepreneur. Like we're entrepreneurs. Like the solution is I'm going to come get the boxes, put them in the attic. I'm going to start calling my friends and get somebody else to clean the pool. You fire that guy or I'll fire him and then it'll be fine. Okay, baby. I'll call you later. <gasps> okay. So then the next day when I go stay with him, he's like, babe, you have some rich people problems i'm like no i don't he like your pool man you a black girl talking about your pool man your pool now in ground pool and your pool man is not getting the pool clean fast enough and you gotta take your laundry and put it on the porch so the laundry people will come get it while everybody else is washing their clothes this weekend are you on my side or not with friends like you who needs enemies I just need you to stay focused, okay? So today I had to clean my own pool. I broke two nails. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about, you know? Then my friend, yeah, she's like, my, back to back to Lene. She's like worried about us. And I'm like, girl, we're good. And so um, she had trouble with her car, like something happened. So she had to put it in the shop. So my other friend, Kim, was like riding her around. And I'm like, see, you worried, you planning all this stuff. A car will still randomly blow up. Like life is going to life. So why not just get a watermelon cocktail and enjoy this thing? It is what it is. Okay. What can we do? I got a lot of things to do next week. Today, I'm, this week, I'm going to finish planning everything. Next week is all like a bunch of execution and a bunch of crazy content and all that stuff. 
My birthday is next month, August 11th, and I'm dreading my hair appointment. I hate getting my hair done. What would it mean if I didn't have my hair done for my birthday? Would that be like the worst thing ever in life? I just like to rough it, you know? I just love to rough it. <sighs> then me and my man went to brunch and I saw this messy ass girl and it's like a, you know, we dated seven years ago, but it's like a new relationship. Um, we just like rekindled. And I saw this messy ass girl that always loves to talk about my business. Like, girl, you have a husband. You don't got nothing to do. So then one of my exes started blowing my phone up yesterday. So I know she's like, I saw your girl. It looked like she was on a date and the boy kissed her. So he could probably call him like, what's happening? What's happening is you got replaced. Play with your mama. Because I don't feel bad about it. Because I told him I was dating him like the most out of everybody else. <laughs> I was dating him. And I knew I was closing the restaurant. I said, can you take care of me for the summer? He said, yes. And he only brought money over here one time. And it's July. So, hmm. Snippity snip snip, you know? Because the thing about me, I'm so loyal to people. And I, I really be down for people. And I was really down for him. But baby, once you show me that you're, the energy is not reciprocated, it's dead. D-O-A. I have nothing else for you because I'm not the type of girl to ask nobody for anything. So the fact that I asked you and you agreed, you could at least say no. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. It's a fly in here and I don't know where my fly swatter at. It's pissing me off. But yeah, mm -mm. I'm cool on that, Sonny. Then you messed up at the wrong time. Then out of nowhere, my man that I really love called me talking about he loved me. Baby, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Toodles. I'm going to finish reading Boss Moves. This book been really good so far. By Myron Golden. And um, read this week. Do my planning. And about to rock out like a crazy person. Because my... Um, I want my launch on my birthday. It's a Friday. It's going to be Liddy. Check in with you guys later. I broke my nail last night working. My friend um, owns three locations and needed help last night from, uh, needed a bartender. So I'm not uh, doing anything. So I went to help her. I talk a lot of shit about the men in my life or that I've had in my life, right? And then like this man that I'm with now that I completely am ridiculously in love with. I'm just so thankful. Like I forgot. I forgot what women be going through out here. Like to order a drink at the bar, get the total and like men walk off. I was noticing that. I'm like, I forgot about this shit. Then order order a drink and the total is like higher than expected. And they're like, what you get? Like, I've just never had a man question me <laughs> about the money that is has to be spent. And I'm just so, I am so thankful because the women took it to the chin. I probably would have rocked them dudes. Then the other dude is negotiating with me. Can you give me two for $40? Sir, sir, sir. And she's right there watching that. How did your vagina work after the club? After seeing a man try to negotiate a drink special? Like, it's just no way. And liquor is expensive now. Like, everything's going up. I mean... But it's not more expensive than the sections and the, and the bottles that the that the ballers be buying. Ooh, chow. I'm gonna go back today. She needs help today at a festival. Jesus, I forgot it's some it's some it's some brokies out here, and they the loudest. That's what I know. They're so loud. 
all the men in the sections chilling got their little chains on sitting down might stand up when they song on do one of these sit back down drink they drink eat their wings Ooh, child i'm so like i want to call i want to call my man but you know i can't you can't let men know that you're grateful for them because then they start acting stupid you know i wish you could just be like babe you're so wonderful like i'm just so thankful to you then they gonna start saying oh she see what's out here and i'm gonna treat her bad then i i gotta be on you like I'm not about to do that. I was just telling him the other night. The problem is women don't beat on their men no more. That's why everybody's... That's why it's er, out, of rack, out of whack around here. Because you got the... What? Who? What? Uh, not killer. So. Ooh, they was broke. 